Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy Wednesday. Here's your daily news report and fourth stimulus check update. In today's video, I will be bringing you up to date on the latest stimulus news and information. The IRS is finally sending out extra checks to taxpayers this week. Congress has just made available millions more dollars of stimulus relief money to millions of Americans. This Friday, I will be giving away another $75 Amazon gift card. To enter the giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, like this video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you so much, everyone. The Internal Revenue Service sent out more than 2.8 million refunds last week to Americans who paid taxes on unemployment compensation that was later excluded as income under the latest stimulus relief package. Some 13 million taxpayers may be eligible for the adjustment refunds included as part of the American Rescue Plan. The plan excludes up to $10,200 in unemployment compensation or up to $20,400 for married couples. However, the IRS has said that since it was passed in March, many people had already filed their 2020 returns and paid taxes on their unemployment compensation. Those are the people who are potentially owed a refund. But remember, refund amounts will vary. The IRS said it will be issuing the refunds periodically as it works through the list of those who are eligible. Some taxpayers will have their overpayment applied to taxes due or other debts, while for others, there will be no change. The IRS is also reviewing tax returns filed prior to the American Rescue Plan's passage to identify returns where the unemployment change might make someone eligible for the earned income tax credit, premium tax credit, and recovery rebate credit. To date, the IRS has reviewed over 3.1 million returns, with more than 2.8 million receiving refunds. The next set of refunds are expected in mid-June. Now, one major issue that Americans faced during the crisis was paying their house rent. To address this, Congress came up with the federal eviction moratorium, but it is scheduled to expire later this month. This will be concerning to those who don't yet have a job or regular income. If you are among those, then there is no need to panic as you may be eligible for a renter's stimulus check. Home prices surged during the crisis, and this came as a relief for some homeowners. However, there was no such relief for renters, except for the government aid. Along with the stimulus checks, renters also benefited from the nationwide ban on evictions. The federal eviction moratorium is set to expire on June 30th, leaving millions of Americans vulnerable to evictions. According to a study from the Center on Budget and Policy Priorities, about 14% of renters are behind on their rent payment. A separate study says that 6 million renters owe almost $20 million in rent payment. Once the federal eviction moratorium expires, many renters will face the risk of eviction especially those who are yet unemployed. If you are a renter and are worried about what to do next, there is some positive news for you. You may qualify for some stimulus cash that could assist you in paying rent. This stimulus cash is part of the emergency rental aid that Congress approved in the last two stimulus packages. Congress approved $25 billion for rent relief in the stimulus package that was passed in December and $21.6 billion in the $1.9 trillion stimulus relief package that was approved in March. So about $42 billion is available for distribution to those who are struggling to pay rent and utilities because of this crisis. This money can also be used to pay pass-through rent, late fees, relocation expenses, and rental fees. The U.S. Treasury is overseeing the distribution of these funds. To qualify for this assistance, at least one member of your household must be eligible for unemployment benefits, or you need to prove your inability to pay rent because of this crisis. If you meet the eligibility requirements, then you can contact your local or state housing authority or government agency to apply for the assistance. Right now, U.S. employers added 559,000 jobs in May. That is an improvement from April's sluggish gain, but still evidence that many companies are struggling to find enough workers as the economy rapidly recovers from this crisis recession. During his address, President Joe Biden said, This is progress. 
That's pulling our economy out of the worst crisis in the last 100 years. According to the Labor Department, last month's job gain was above April's revised total of 278,000. The unemployment rate fell to 5.8% from 6.1%. It's the lowest level since the crisis hit. President Biden also stated, America is finally on the move again. Now's the time to accelerate the progress we've been making. Now's the time to build on the foundation we have laid. The president said that economic progress is not assured, which is why he proposed the American Jobs Plan and the American Families Plan for generational investment. On paycheck fairness, almost immediately, however, we saw the limits of bipartisanship in the Senate last evening, right after we voted on USICA, the U.S. United States Innovation and Competition Act. Minutes after coming together to pass that sweeping competition bill, Senate Republicans mounted a partisan filibuster against a very straightforward piece of legislation to help provide equal pay to women. The vote was party line. Not a single Republican senator voted in favor of even debating the bill. Sure, my colleagues might not like every aspect of democratic legislation, I understand that. But if you want to change the bill, you have to let the Senate debate it and amend it. It's shocking that my Republican colleagues believe that the Senate has no role to play in defending the rights of women who are unfairly and illegally discriminated against in the workplace. For that reason, for a reason that I can't understand, the issue of pay equity has become a, a partisan one, sadly. Democrats in favor, Republicans opposed. Despite the fact that the issue isn't that partisan out in the country, a solid majority of voters see pay equity as a problem and believe Congress has a role to play in solving it. It reminds me of gun safety. 90 to 95 percent of America supports expanding background checks so that people who shouldn't get a gun, felons and others, don't. The vast majority of Republicans in the country, the vast majority of gun owners in the country support that policy. Only in D.C., among Republicans here in the Senate and in the House, is that issue remotely partisan, where Washington Republicans have traditionally opposed it. So before the press writes the latest Republican filibuster of equal pay legislation is just another chapter in the typical partisan games, just remember that the only place this issue is partisan is in Washington, with Republicans way out of touch with what the American people want. Americans across the country expect their government to make progress on big issues, even if we don't agree on everything. But yesterday, sadly, Senate Republicans once again chose the path of obstruction and gridlock. So everyone, that is the end of the video for this morning. I hope you found this video helpful today. This coming Friday evening, I will be giving away another $75 Amazon gift card. To enter the giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, like the video, share this video, and also leave a comment below. Thank you so much, everyone, and have a very, very blessed Wednesday.